Hi, I'm Miss Julie. This is Splish, Splash, Splat by Rob Scatton. Splish, Splash, Splat. Splat purred <laughs> happily in his sleep as candy, fish of all shapes and sizes, swarmed through his dreams. He, he reached out and tried to catch one. When his mom threw open the curtains, time to get up, she called. The candy fish melted away. Come back, little fishes, Splat sighed. Oh, look, he's sleeping with his mouse, Seymour. Oh, I almost forgot, said Spike's mom. Splat's, Spike's coming over for a play date after cat school. Spike, 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 ah, spluttered Splat. Spike will eat all the candy fish and play with my toys until they break. There will be plenty of candy fish and we'll put away your favorite toy, said his mom. Although, wouldn't it be nice if you shared? Is it nice to share your toys? Yes. Sure, with anyone but Spike, said Splat. He's a show off. He calls me names and he doesn't like me. I'm sure he really likes you, said Splat's mom. Now get in the bath or you'll be late. But water is horrible, said Splat. It's scary and wet and it makes me soggy. Do any of you not like water? Do any of you not like to take a bath? And don't forget to wash behind your ears, said his mom. A few seconds later, finish, cried Splat. Look at Ta look at Splat. He is on top of the bathtub, but is he in the water? No. I think you missed a bit, said his mom. Aw, said Splat. And with a splish, he lowered himself into the water. Water is horrible and scary and wet, and it makes me soggy. Oh, I almost forgot. You begin swimming lessons at school today, said his mom. Do you think that Splat's going to like swimming lessons? Nope. This is not going to be a good day, said Splat at breakfast. Seymour shook his head. Not a good day at all, Splat said on his way to school. Seymour shook his head. Look, he has a bag of candy fish. Can this day get any worse, Splat asked. Seymour looked at Splat's, through Splat's legs and nodded. Hi, Splatty. Last one to school the loser, said Spike with a grin. Spike spread. Spike spread, sped through a puddle with a splash and was gone. What a show off, said Splat. This is definitely going to be the worst day ever. Oh no, he took his can some candy fish and he rode through the water and splashed Splat. Was that very nice? No, it wasn't. In class, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple made an announcement. Today, class... We are going to learn how to swim. The class fell silent almost. Do cats usually like water? No. Hooray! Cheered Plank. How weird, said Splat. Class to the swimming pool, continued Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. The class lined up by the pool. Splat forgot to put on his swim trunks, he spiked. Everyone laughed. Ha 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 ha. No, I haven't. They're black and flurry, furry, Splat replied. It's time to get in the water, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Yippee! cried Plank, and he jumped into the pool. That's really weird, said Splat. Me next, cried Spike. Spike rushed up to the pool edge. But then he stopped and he stepped back. Hmm, I forgot something.
something he said. Some of the class slowly stepped into the pool. Oh, look, he forgot his floaty stuff. Me next, cried Spike again. He rushed to the pool edge. But once again, he didn't get in. I forgot something else, he said. Most of the class got into the pool. Soon there were only two cats left by the side of the pool. Splat and Spike. Come on in, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. It's a lot of fun. Why do you think they're not getting in the water? Splat couldn't keep quiet any longer. Water is horrible, he blurted, hiding behind Spike. Yes, yes, it's horrible, said Spike, hiding behind Splat. Neither one of them want to get in. Water is scary and wet, they cried together, and it makes us soggy. They're both afraid to get into the water. Splat was confused. He thought that Spike wasn't afraid of anything, but Spike was just as scared as he was. Splat felt sorry for him. Splat looked at Seymour. Ah, he thought. Then Spike saw the strangest thing. A candy fish floated in front of his face. Spike tried to catch it. He missed. He tried again, but he still couldn't catch it. Then he made one last effort and finally... Yum! Then Spike realized he was that he was standing in the swimming pool. How did that happen, he wondered. Spike took a fishing line and he lured... Or Splat took a fishing line and he lured Spike into the pool with the candy fish. Hmm... It doesn't feel horrible or scary or too wet, thought Spike. Hey, Splatty, last one to the other side is a loser. If Spike can do it, so can I, thought Splat. He took a deep breath and he jumped Splat. Hmm, it tickles, said Splat. Water's not ter horrible at all. Splat called to Spike. Last one to the other side is a loser. Later that day, Spike went over to Splat's house. He ate lots of candy fish and he played with Splat's toys. But he only broke one. He also gave Splat the perfect present. And look. He has a new pair of swim trunks. So they found out that they could be friends and that the water wasn't scary after all. And that is Splish Splash Splat by Rob Scatton. Thank you for watching.